Welcome to Canadian Immigration News. I am your host, Lukia Papadopoulos. In today's news, Canada's Immigration Minister approves a new policy to allow Yazidi refugee families to sponsor extended family members, the Government of Canada takes further measures to support international students, Hong Kong residents will now be able to apply for new open work permits, and more. According to Everything GP, the Grand Prairie Intercultural Association is launching a new program to help educate immigrants and newcomers in order to help them thrive in Grand Prairie and in Canada. The new GPIA Academy program called The Academy will help newcomers learn more about what Canadian resources are available and how they can be accessed. Meanwhile, CBC News reported that Canada's Immigration Minister has approved a new policy that will allow Yazidi refugee families in Canada to sponsor extended family members in Syria. This new policy extends the time frame for sponsorship and widens the eligibility criteria. By changing the policy to be more inclusive of extended family members, we are showing compassion, Immigration Minister Marco Mendegino said in an interview with CBC News. The Government of Canada has also now announced it will take further measures to support international students through the pandemic. This will include an offer of open work permits for former international students who hold or held a post-graduation work permit, a PGWP. From now on, studies completed outside Canada will count towards a future PGWP, and international students will be allowed to complete their entire program online from abroad.